Have you ever heard of effective return loss, or ERL? It's a new way of assessing return loss in high-speed serial channels developed by the Ethernet Task Force. It's especially important when dealing with high-performance applications like those involving PAM4 signaling. ERL was developed to address situations like the one you see here. Here we're running an example channel with frequency domain masks. It's passing the insertion loss, but failing the return loss, as you can see. However, when we run a COM analysis on this channel, what we find is that the channel is passing COM with considerable margin. So the desire here is to come up with a better way of assessing return loss to be more compatible with COM. Effective return loss is calculated through a multiple step process. First, the return loss for the channel is combined with filtering functions for the transmitter and receiver. Then that is used to calculate a pulse response for the reflection. Then gating functions are calculated that will be used to scale the reflected pulse response, and those gating functions are then used to scale that pulse response, resulting in the effective reflection waveform. That waveform is then post-processed to produce the metric for ERL, which is compared to a target value. Here we can see the ERL metric allows this channel to pass even though the traditional frequency domain mask was failing. Beginning with the VX2.4 release, Hyperlinks automates the calculation of ERL as part of the CERTES compliance wizard. Here we see a CERTES channel that's been modeled from ball to ball, including via structures that are modeled in three dimensions by the EM solver. To calculate ERL, the user sets up and runs the CERTES compliance wizard in the usual manner, choosing one of the different Ethernet standards that supports ERL as one of its calculation metrics. At that point, the CERTES compliance analysis is run and the results are integrated into the report. Here are the compliance analysis results for our simple channel. Here we can see the COM analysis is passing as before. And now when we calculate the ERL value, we see that that is also passing for this channel. The informative section of the report contains other information, including the optimized transmit and receive equalization settings, the insertion loss mask, and the traditional return loss mask, which was failing as we originally saw. So in summary, effective return loss is an important new metric referenced by some of the latest Ethernet standards. Hyperlinks automatically calculates ERL as part of the CERTES compliance wizard. Check it out.